So in today's video, we are going to be learning how to get the quartile, the decimal, and the percentile when we have our data in the grouped manner, that is we have uh, a grouped data and uh, to be specific, a data grouped based on the variable or based on the score. So let's get into the question that we have right here. So our question says that uh, below is a frequency table that defines a data set. So we are supposed to find the third quartile, the seventh decimal, and the 40th percentile. So uh, what I'm going to do is to just quickly sketch out the frequency table given to us. That is, I'm going to reconstruct it out. Uh, it's easier to work with it that way. So let me quickly do that. So the formula for the quartiles, so let's just say QN is going to be equals to summation F plus 1 divided by N. So we are going to be using this variation when we have an odd number of data set. And we also have our QN is equals to summation F divided by N. Uh, we use this variation when we have even, excuse me even number of data set so the formula for our third quartile is going to be based on uh, the variation we are going to be using for the third quartile in this question of us is going to be based on the number of data sets that we have and the sum of the frequency which is summation f determines the number of data sets or the number of variables we have in this data set of us so 15 plus 12 that is 27 27 plus 7 that is 34 34 plus 18 that is a uh, 52 52 plus 9 that is uh, 61 61 plus 6 that is 67 so uh, by summing the frequency we can see that we have a total of 67 data sets that is we can see that summation f is equal to 67 so definitely we are going to be using the first version the one that works best with odd number of variables in the data set so uh, to solve the first question the formula for the third quarter that's q3 is going to be equals to summation f uh, excuse me so the formula for the third quarter is going to be q3 is going to be equals to summation f plus 1 divided by 3 and uh, our summation f is a 67 plus 1 divided by 3 so we have a 68 divided by 3 using our calculator to do this so 68 divided by 3 and that gives us a uh, 22.67 and when approximated to the nearest whole number we have our answer to be approximately equals to 23 so this simply implies that our third quartile is located in the 23rd position so let's write that out our third quartile is located in the 23rd position so let's come to our frequency and actually locate the 23rd position later so uh, we are going to be summing the frequency so 15 plus 12 that gives us uh, 27 so definitely 23 is going to be somewhere right here right inside here so when we point this towards this variable or towards the score we can see that the frequency of 12 is pointing towards 11 so that simply implies that our third quarter is equals to 11 that is a q3 is actually equals to 11 so let's solve the next question that says uh, we should define the seventh the sum so I'm going to take this sideways a bit. So uh, the formula for the seventh decile, which is a uh, D7, is going to be equal to summation F plus 1 divided by 7. So our summation F is a uh, 67 plus 1 divided by 7. This is equal to 68 divided by 7. So when we do the math with our calculator, so 68 divided by 7. We have our answer to be equals to 9.7 which is approximately equals to 10. so that simply implies that the seventh decile is located in the tenth position so the tenth position data is going to be somewhere around here just here since this is 15 so 10 is definitely going to be inside here so we can just trace this and we can see that it is pointing towards the variable x so that means that our seventh decile is actually equals to 10 that is that this seven is uh, equals to 10 and the last question says that we should get the 40th percentile so the last question should we should get the 40th percentile so p40 is going to be equals to summation f plus 1 divided by 40 so that's going to be 60 
7 plus 1 divided by 40 that's going to be 68 divided by 40 and when we do the math 68 divided by 40 uh, that gives us 1.7 which is approximately equals to 2 so that simply implies that our 40th percentile is located in the second position so obviously the second position data for our 40th percentile is going to be uh, in the frequency of 15 in the frequency count of 15 rather so that means uh, as 40th percentile is actually going to be equals to 10 so that means a p40 is actually equals to 10 and this is how we get the quartiles the decile and the percentile of our data sets when it is grouped based on class or when we have a grouped data if you learned something new and you enjoyed this video i would really appreciate if you can give me a thumbs up and click on the notification button to get notified when i release new video which i do at least two times in a week thanks for making it to the end of this video we would see in the next one bye for now